For what reason are there wars everywhere? Taking a gander at the ongoing circumstance in the entire world, the main inquiry that is disturbing a large portion of individuals is, what will occur straight away? Prior to finding the response to this inquiry, we need to comprehend that similarly as the fate of man relies upon his present and past deeds, similarly the eventual fate of the world additionally relies upon the present and past deeds of its occupants. An individual stresses over the future just when he has committed a few slip-ups or has taken care of which he feels a little uncertain about its legitimacy or about its legitimateness. In any case, he needs to stress over the eventual fate of the great work he has certainly finished. There is no requirement for that. The actual presence of conversation about the fate of this present reality demonstrates that humankind has created some distance from reality and the correct way, that is to say by taking into account the issues that are undermining this present reality, this is plainly demonstrated, that as opposed to taking on the way of satisfaction and harmony for him and others, man has embraced a way brimming with issues and inconveniences. For instance, today little and enormous conflicts are being battled somewhere near the world, because of which each individual is constantly stressed over his life and property. The normal citizens of these nations begin seeing their passing ahead at the simple notice of war, yet has anybody at any point contemplated the way that till date there have been no such occurrences on the planet? What is the purpose behind large wars? Most likely not. Essentially today different nations have made such countless molecules that their number is considerably more than the quantity of bombs expected to obliterate the whole world. Ja, I think. On one hand, there is such a lot of destitution, yet then again man is burning through billions of rupees to release the fire of obliteration. What will this be called? Positively, the justification behind this way of behaving of man is his annoyance. The greatest thing, most importantly, is that virtues have declined quickly over the most recent 50 years. And industrialization, film, two universal conflicts, and nationwide conflicts in numerous nations are answerable for speeding up this downfall. The arrangement of the family isn't equivalent to previously, nor is the communication between neighbours equivalent to previously. Old standards were broken and new qualities couldn't be laid out in their place. The present man, in the wake of seeing the supernatural occurrences of science, has begun thinking about otherworldliness as a thing of backwardness. Along these lines, when we dissect what is happening, we arrive at the resolution that either mental problem of man stays the underlying driver of his concerns. On the off chance that we wish to restore a Satopradhan, unadulterated and divine society, for that we